Matthew chapter 15. Some prof Pharisees and teachers of religions, religious law now arrived from Jerusalem to interview Jesus. Why do your disciples disobey our age-old traditions? They demanded they ignore our traditions of ceremonially hand worshiping before they eat. Jesus replied, and why do you by your traditions violate the direct commandments of God. For instance, God says, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who speaks evil of father or mother must be put to death. But you say, You don't need to honor your parents by carving caring for their needs if you give the money to God instead and so by your own traditions you knew newly 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 the newly n-u-l-l-i-f-y the direct commandment of God you hypocrites, 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 H O Y P O C R I T S. Isaiah was foreseen about you when he said, These people honor me with their lips. But their hearts are far away. Their worship is a f- is a fierce for they replace God's commandments with their own man-made teachings. Then Jesus called to the crowds and said, "Listen to what I say and try to understand." You are not defined by what you eat. You are defined by what you say and do. Then the disciples came to him and asked, Do you realize you offended the Pharisees by what you just said? Jesus replied, Every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted so I ignore them they are blind guides leading the blind and if one blind person guides another they will both fall into a ditch then Peter asked Jesus explaining what you meant when you said people aren't defined by what they eat don't you understand jesus asked him everything you eat passes through the stomach and goes out of the body but evil words come from an evil heart and define the person who says from who says them for from the heart Come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all other sexual and proletary, proletary, um, in immorality, morality, theft, lying, and slander. These are what defined you eating with unwashed hands could never define you and make you unacceptable to God. Jesus left, then left Galilee and went north to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Gentile woman who lived there came to him pleading, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David, for my daughter has a demon in her. 
and it is surely tormenting her. But Jesus gave her no reply, not even a word. Then his disciple urged him to send her away, tell her to leave. They said she is bothering us with all her begging. Then he said to the woman, I was sent out to help the people of Israel, God's last lost sheep, not the Gentiles. But she came and worshipped him and pleaded again, Lord, help me. It isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs. He said, Yes, Lord, she replied, but even dogs are premeditated pre premented to eat crumbs that fall beneath the master's table. Women, Jesus said to her, Your faith is great, your request is greater, granted, and your daughter was instantly healed. Jesus returned to the Sea of Galileo and climbed a hill and sat down. A vast crowd brought him the lamb, lame, blind, crippled, mute, and many others with physical defects and they they laid them before Jesus and he healed them all the crowd was amazed those who hadn't been able to speak were take talking talking the cr crippled were made well the lame were walking around, and those who had been blind could see again, and they praised the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I feel sorry for those people. They have been here with me for three days, and they have nothing left to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry, or they will faint along the road. The disciples replied, And warrior, would we get enough food out here in the wilderness for all of them to eat? Jesus asked, How many loaves of bread do you have? They replied, Seven, a f and a few small fish. So Jesus told them all people to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, thanked God for them, broke them into pieces, and gave them to the disciples who distributed the food to the crowd. They all ate until they were full, and when the scraps were picked up, there were seven large baskets of food left over. There were 4,000 men who were fed that day, in addition to all the women and children. Then Jesus sent the people home, and he got into a boat and crossed over to the region of Mangan.